Good evening everyone, or whatever time it, it is where you are. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, dialogues. This is notoriously tricky just because it's so poorly documented. Um, the only good documentary I can think of is uh, the uh, dialogue tutorial for noobs by Iceman77. It's a great place to start if you've never done dialogues before. And this video is basically a summary of that PDF or uh, tutorial by Iceman77. So first thing we're going to do is create our mission. I've named it tutorial and create a trigger that's activated by the radio and copy this code. Click OK. Inside your mission folder, we're going to create two files: a defines.hpp and the dialogues.hppp. To do this, click New, Text Document, and Save As. And then in the file name, defines.hpp, and do the same for dialogues.hpp, and save them both. I then create a description.ext, and open that. And inside, we are going to copy this code. and save. After you've done that, we're going to go back to our mission and click preview. This is where we start creating our uh, actual dialogue. So go activate my trigger I placed a minute ago and this is the GUI editor. So let's begin by right clicking anywhere and we're going to make a RSC frame. Click OK right click this, first thing we're going to do, change the position type from GUI grid to safe zone and then we're going to give it a unique class name, so this has to be unique, we're going to call it hater frame and text, this is just the text that will appear inside the box, so my frame text, click OK and we're going to drag this to where we want our dialogue to be displayed on the screen. And we can resize it by holding Alt and clicking and dragging. Like so. Next we're going to right click again, create RSC text, click OK. Mouse around, go and try and find it, like so. Right click, I'm going to call this one hater text. And in the text I'm going to say do like my picture because in this dialog we're going to display a picture as well. And click OK. And like before, just resize it so it looks nice. Uh, right click again, uh, we're going to make a RSC picture and again give it a unique class name. Click it hater picture. Click OK. Resize it. and do the same for RSC button hater button no and in the text the button will say no control C to copy and paste it and control V to paste it oh no where's that gone mouse over control uh, mouse over the button control C and control V and then again give it a unique class name hater button yes and in the text I'm going to put yes click OK OK so this is our basic layout of the of our dialogue as you can see so what we're going to do now is control shift S give it a project title Hater. And then we're going to go back into the mission folder and open the dialogues.hpp we made earlier. So underneath the video you'll see uh, a link to this. This is basically a template um, which you can use. And what we're going to do is underneath the class controls bracket, control V. 
to paste our uh, code that we just created in the editor. So here we have our class. This is the entire class uh, name for for the entire dialogue. dialogue. Moving enable false. That just means the player can't like drag the dialogue around. Um, you can change that to true if you like. Class controls, and under controls we have each of our things we just made. So our hater frame, hater text, hater picture, hater buttons, and you'll see that these refer to separate. Um, classes which we need to define. So now we're going to define them. So we're going to open our defines.hpp and copy and paste this. So this is defining our dialogues. So we've defined our, our RSC text here. So we've got our fonts, the colour of the text, the colour background, and that's basically all we're going to be covering today. So we're going to go back into our dialogues, click Control S to save, and now we're going to spawn our dialogue in an environment within the game. So exit out back into the editor and create another trigger. This one will be Radio Bravo, and on that I'm just going to call my script. And then inside our script we're going to type this. Followed by the name of our dialogue. In this case hater dialogue. So that's all we have in our script right now. So when we launch the game, oh, sorry, forgot. When dealing with uh, dialogues, we have to restart the mission again. So the easiest way to do that is click load, and then select your mission, and there you go, it's reloaded. If you find that your game crashes when you do this, then you've done something wrong. Uh, so let's launch our script and as you can see the dialogue has appeared in the game and it's fairly blank we haven't given a decent picture we haven't made a button to do anything yet and it looks crap <laughs> uh, let's be honest so we need to do that so first thing we're going to do is put in a picture uh, just to find any picture, um, in my case I'm going to use uh, my YouTube picture, because why not? Wait, uh, you can use JPEGs, so we're going to copy it into the root of our mission, open our dialogues, scroll down to um, the hater picture and in text we're just going to put the name of our picture in my case it's picture dot jpeg now let's try this out so we're going to save and exit and then reload the mission to refresh the game and call cool, that thing and you can see the pictures worked and appeared now what we're going to do is give our buttons actions. So to do this we're going to action equals so within these brackets we create our action. I'm just going to quickly refer back to my old tutorial Blue Peter style. If you get that reference then good. <laughs> You also grew up in the UK. Okay, so all we have here in our action is um, it closes the dialogue and then it calls another script. 
answer yes. So we're going to make another script called answer yes dot sqf and inside the script we're going to make a simple hint so you liked my picture and then we're going to do the same for answer no hint if you answer no to my picture and guess what no one actually cares okay so all we're gonna do copy and paste this action into this, the yes button oh did this the wrong way around all we're gonna do because this is a hater button no we want that to call the answer no dot sqf and this one already calls the answer yes dot sqf so again we're going to reload our mission and as you can see that worked so now we're going to make things look pretty so an easy way to do this the best way copy and paste the rsc frame so control c over it press enter and then control V and we're going to change the class name this is very important we're going to change it to uh, hater background and then followed by box so instead of referring back to the RSC frame in the defines.hpp it's going to refer back to box in the defines. So if you open our defines HPP, if we scroll to the bottom, we will see a class called box. And here we can change the background. So I'm going to just make it random colors, see what comes up. This is always fun. Or I find it fun because I'm kind of sad like that. So what we've done is basically made a background which is the same size as the frame because we copied and, pa copied and pasted it we're going to get rid of the text because it's not our frame text and again we're going to reload the mission and as you see it's, it's now got a weird green background and you can see my um, my text my yes button is actually a bit off, a bit wonky. You see, it's kind of like got droopy eyes. <laughs> if it was a face, I don't know why I think that's a face. It's really weird. Um, so let's try and correct this. So we go scroll down to our yes button and find our height. Oh, so this is our x axis. So this is. I believe it's along the, like along the corridor and then the y axis is up the stairs so that's up and down so this is left and right up and down rip that's how big the bot the uh, button is and the same with the height of the button so these are all relative to the top right left hand corner I believe so to make it go up the screen because it needs to go up a bit we're going to decrease this value so let's try 56 control s to save and then we can reload the mission to find it to find out moment's truth okay that's a bit better now alternatively to get the exact value we can have a look at our hater button no and we can see the y value of that is 0.565972 all we're going to do is make these the same so they're the same height this is a nice little trick uh, for getting 
all your buttons the same height. Okay, well, I forgot to reload the mission there. Yeah, I don't even, I don't know if you noticed, but nothing actually changed. Now, if we caught this time, they're the same height. And the rip is a bit off. I mean, the x axis is a bit off, so what we can do just try to decrease it a bit. Okay, so you can play around with that in your own time to try and get the uh, boxes and stuff looking very nice. What's left? Well, we can change the background of the text box. We can we'll probably want to make that invisible. So to do that, we're going to open our defines.hpp, find our text, color background. So this is these three figures are the colors. The fourth one is the transparency. Transparency. So we're going to set that to zero. Save. And then reload the mission. And this should make our text box a bit more pretty. So you can see that's fixed that problem. So thank you for watching. I hope this has helped you with your dialogues. Um, I highly recommend you check out uh, Iceman77 dialogue tutorial for noobs. So thank you for watching, I will see you next time.